What's up everybody, it's Joe with JBlake Photo. Uh, and in today's video, we're gonna do a little experiment. We're gonna try editing in LumaFusion with a mouse and keyboard on the iPad. Okay, so first things first, little disclaimer here. Um, I am running beta software on my 10.5 uh, iPad Pro. This is the 2017-2018 10.5-inch version. Um, this is the one with the lightning port adapter. Uh, I did a video just a little bit ago about doing file imports into LumaFusion with the iPad Pro. Uh, so go ahead and check that out if you haven't. It's right up here. Um, so if you haven't checked out that video, go ahead and look at it. Uh, I'm going to be doing very similar things in this video, except instead of file transfer, we're going to be trying out the mouse and keyboard support on the new iOS 13, iPad OS 13 uh, for, uh, for iPad Pro. But big disclaimer here, uh, this is beta software. Uh, the software can crash, it can mess up your iPad, it can mess up your iCloud account. Um, there's a lot of things that this thing can do. Uh, I am taking my life into my own hands here with this for you so that you can see what it looks like uh, and you don't have to uh, risk your own hardware or, or uh, software in the process. Um, so we're gonna take a look at this here. Now there's a couple of steps that we've gotta go through. The first is gonna be that we need to get a USB port attached um, to the iPad Pro. Now to do that, if you haven't watched my previous video, um, I use the USB 3.0 adapter, the USB to lightning adapter that is available uh, for the iPad Pro. It's actually available for all devices that support lightning. Uh, so that includes the iPad, the iPad Pro, uh, the iPhone, uh, and really any other device that has a lightning port on it. And with iOS 13, uh, it pretty much adds a full uh, gamut of USB capability to your device. So we're gonna plug that in first, uh, just to give ourselves that port. And from everything that I have done in terms of functionality, adding that adapter, that dongle really does the same thing as having a USB-C port on the new iPad Pro. It's not as fast uh, and it does not provide 4K video out, uh, but it does provide all the same file storage and uh, device hookup options uh, as, as what you would find uh, on the iPad Pros that have USB-C. Okay, so first things first, we've gotta turn on uh, the ability for the iPad to actually access the mouse, okay? And to do that, we're gonna go ahead and hop into the settings app here, okay? And we're gonna go down to accessibility, and we're gonna go down to touch control, and we're going to turn on assistive touch. As soon as you turn on assistive touch, you get this little, this little menu uh, circle here, and we're gonna go ahead and go home. So now that we have assistive touch, we should be able to access uh, the mouse commands. And uh, what we're gonna do is we're going to attach, this is a Logitech unifying receiver. It is paired to my M310 mouse, which is just a basic two button mouse with a scroll wheel, and my K, K520 keyboard, which is just a basic full-size wireless keyboard from Logitech. Um, and I'm gonna turn both of these on. Okay, they both have good battery power. And now I'm going to plug the unifying receiver into the USB port in. There we go. And right away, you can see we have ourselves a mouse pointer. Okay, so we have ourselves a mouse pointer and then let me go ahead and test out the keyboard here. Okay, and we've got the keyboard. Okay, so everything seems to work. That's great, okay. Um, the other thing I wanna do really quick before we jump into editing um, is I am going to hook a battery up to my iPad. Um, I'm just gonna plug it in so it's got some power uh, and that's actually one of the really nice things about this adapter is it lets you, uh, it lets you do pass through power um, so that you can charge your device while you're using it, which is really nice. Okay, so now while I'm on my home screen, before we hop into LumaFusion, I'm going to just right click on my keyboard um, and I've got direct access to that control. So you can, you, know, uh, you can get to the app switcher, you can get to device control, you can go to your notifications, bring your dock up. Basically everything that you would normally do with your fingers now you can actually do. Okay, so now we've got keyboard and we've got mouse. Um, let's go ahead and hop into LumaFusion. 
Okay, so I've got LumaFusion uh, open and I've got a video uh, dropped in, but you know what, let's go ahead and start over here. Um, I was playing with this just to see how things were going. So uh, obviously it'll, it'll just play back there for us. I'm gonna go ahead and hit the backspace key. Um, so the one thing that you learn is that there are no like additional contextual menus. If you right click, it brings up this, this assistive touch menu. Um, and there's not a whole lot of keyboard shortcuts um, that you have access to. There are some that are built into the OS, um, but pretty much everything else is just kind of run like it normally would be for uh, for the iPad. So um, uh, let's go ahead and pull in some video. I've got just some videos that I did. Um, I was just doing a little bit of video for, uh, I was throwing all my kit in a new anvil case and I wanted to, I know it's super boring, but, um, but I just kind of wanted to see how that looked. So let me just kind of grab and you can see, I can really kind of pinpoint the edges um, and drag here. So I'm gonna pull this up and then bring this down here. Okay, so this is just me turning on my Rode microphone. Okay, then we're going to drop that down onto the timeline. Then I'll hit play. Oh, looks like it's still downloading some of that media. Still faster than Adobe Rush. You hear me, Adobe? You're slow. Okay, and we're going to go ahead and hit play. Okay, and there's our clip. Um, I shot this in 2K uh, in super high bit. Uh, bitrate in um, in Filmic Pro on the iPhone. So this is actually all iPhone video. Um, so I'm gonna go ahead and click on this next clip that we edited, and we're gonna go ahead and just kind of piece this together here. Don't remember exactly. Okay, there we go. Okay, and then drop, and then we'll just play through that as well. Still downloading that clip as well. Okay, we'll let that keep downloading. We'll go to these other clips here. Not really sure what um, would maybe want to do this. This is just a set of clips that I wanted to grab with my camera gear just in the box. And we'll drop that down, go to the next clip. This is really easy, just clicking around. I mean, it's not, it's not hard with your hands, um, but it's a lot easier. You can just kind of sit back, do it this way. You don't have to, you know, um, I mean, don't get me wrong, not, not needing a mouse or a keyboard is really nice when you're in um, the field, but, but this makes it pretty simple here. So just a little kind of scan over. Drop that down there. And then now, uh, for scrolling on the mouse, just so you know, it is um, the natural style. So you scroll up and it goes down, scroll down and it goes up. It, it's, you know, it's it's what you'd expect from a Mac uh, with a scroll wheel. Um, I'm sure there's an option in the settings to, to flip it. Okay. We got a quick shot of the 70 to 200 there. That's nice. Okay, and we'll go ahead and drop that down as well. Oop. Let's undo that. Let's go to the end of the end of the line here. Drop that in. Hmm. It's a little small. Let's go ahead and delete that. 
Let's find a new one. This is a little bit more than 11 frames. There we go. Drop that in there. Got that there. Got that there. Got that there. So it's a little, you know, getting ready montage. There's me. <laughs> okay, and here I am opening up the case that these were in. Okay, so as you go through here, you can drag these, or if you want, you can set the playhead. You can go frame by frame with the keyboard. And you can use your I and O keys to set in and out points. I'm actually going to drop that down here at the beginning. And let me go actually back to the other side. Okay, I think that was it for that. We'll let that finish downloading. Let's go to this one here and let's work on a color grade. So we're gonna go ahead and click down over here onto our, um, our presets. So we're gonna edit this clip. Okay. The levels actually look pretty good on here. I'm not gonna do a ton. I might just add just a little bit more, a little bit more contrast. That, that little menu can sometimes get in the way, but I mean, honestly, I think it's definitely worth it. Okay, we're gonna scroll down through here. Okay, I like that. Okay, and then that's pretty much it. Um, I think I would definitely call that a success. We've been able to successfully attach a keyboard and a mouse to the iPad, and um, we've been able to edit some video. Um, we're using in and out points uh, that are controlled by the keyboard. We can use our, um, our left and right keys uh, to go frame by frame, which was something that I, I think we desperately needed um, to be able to do inside of LumaFusion. I think that that is great. Uh, definitely a great addition for folks who just want to be on the iPad, who don't want to be, you know, messing with another machine. Uh, you can definitely be, you know, just using keyboard and mouse um, or your hands. I mean, this this isn't necessarily better. It's just different. I edit on Final Cut, so I, I mostly prefer using the keyboard and the mouse. So this is um, this is a little bit better for me. Um, but that doesn't mean that I'm gonna be carting a keyboard and mouse around with me uh, if I'm gonna be editing in the field with the iPad. It just means it's one more thing that you can do with the iPad. Even if you never do it, you know it's there, which is one of the great things. So tell me in the comments if this is gonna be something that you might use. Are you, are you gonna use this feature? Is this something that interests you? Um, if not, tell me why.
I'm really kind of curious to hear how the LumaFusion community, you guys on the Facebook group, everybody in the subreddit on LumaFusion, I'm really kind of curious if this is something that you guys are going to be using um, and if I should be diving more uh, into this feature and, and maybe learning a bit more myself. Super fun to just kind of experiment a little bit. Thank you so much for watching this video. If you like videos like this, go ahead and hit the like button. That tells YouTube that this is the kind of thing that uh, you're interested in, however you ended up finding it. Um, also, check me out on Instagram. I'll go ahead and um, put links down below to all my social feeds, but I'm at, at jblakephotog, um, also at jblakephotog on Twitter, and you can also check out my Facebook. I'll go ahead and put all that information right over here. Um, here's a video uh, that I did recently that you might be interested in, and then also go ahead and click on this button right here, my face, uh, to subscribe, or you can hit the subscribe button down below, and I'll see you in the next video.